All right, this is a little explanation video on how I've set up my ABC rig here. Uh, because I've never actually been able to ABC speakers before I have, but it's always been with the switch box, and it requires an amp, and the amp is always a different value for each speaker, and it's quieter or louder. So I've solved that issue quite by accident, quite, you know, just, wow, I could do that. Uh, there's a Marantz 1403 receiver down there. I've got my Task PAR200 receiver here. I've got my Emotiva DAC and the Baron J500 down there. And I've got an ODAC behind my computer. And all those things are hooked up to my computer. And they're all sound devices. So I can tell FUBAR2000 to output to any one of those devices. And it turns out if you Wasapi push, you can have it do it immediately. So FUBAR is nice enough to include a keyboard shortcut editor that will perform almost any function of the player. And I can assign keys, like I have, go away, to 1, 2, 3, and 4. And 1, 2, 3, and 4 will switch between 1, 2, 3, and then 4 is just nothingness. So if I want to hear what's... Go away, Arnie Dominus. You and your 88 hertz weird files, weirdo files. Uh, so if I want to hear the wave crest, it's going to be a 1. If I want to hear the Shane, it's going to be 2. If I want to hear the TX, it's going to be 3. If I want to hear nothing, I hit 4. I don't have to pause it or anything. And with this system, I'm able to volume level everything so that everything matches. And I've just basically thrown up, you know, three cutting boards aside because I'm a huge proponent of having lots of cutting boards hanging around for projects. And I've put a book under the TX. On this side, it is uh, Hacking Linux Exposed. And if you think that's good, on this side, Mastering DOS, the fleet tutorial up-to-date user guide. So, yeah, those books are way more useful as speaker, speaker height adjusters. So all the tweeters are roughly in line, all the drivers are roughly in line, and that's good enough for this test that's coming up. Uh, I didn't trust the uh, sanest stands to hold all this, so it's subwoofer, PSA, MT-110, triple speakers on both sides. And uh, yeah, so in the future, any of these tests should be handled in a similar method. And the only thing I may do is try to get identical amps and DACs, because I am relying on the DAC in this, and the DAC in that, and then this DAC here, and then the amp in this, and the amp in this, and the amp in that. And I've, I've switched all the speakers so that I've guaranteed there's no violent like oh wow the, you know, the, the emotiva and behringer have an extreme advantage or anything none of them have an advantage at this point but it would be nice to have like four or five odax stacked up and then four or five behringer a500s all just go into a set of speakers then i could just go you could press buttons that's fun that's painfully fun because I was supposed to do this review yesterday, and it took 10 hours to just sit there bouncing back and forth, killing the battery on my remote, to realize how hard AB speaker testing really is. So yeah, future AB tests are going to be super duper easy and awesome.